Throw it off of the ground tonight The way you look at me just like I'm yours Yeah I never felt like this before You make me feel the way I ain't feel in a minute I feel like I'm living when I'm looking at you, baby Never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy like you do You just give me love and light Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Tuesday, and I'm so freaking excited because where's my phone? Where's my phone? Right here. Um, today we are going to be um, just a day in the life. Um, we are going to be creating content for Instagram. I'm on my way with Karina to go look at some schools for Adelie and Max, which I'm so freaking excited. Um, we went to go see some schools yesterday, but it was not a fail, but I'm trying to like understand like the whole like pre-K and like transitional kindergarten, kindergarten, first grade. Like it's really hard to like understand. So I fell in love with the school, but they don't offer a class for Max. They only offer a class for Adelie. So I would have to wait until August of the following year. So when Max is four, that following August, when he's about to turn five, for me to enroll him in that school, which I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, so I don't want to pay for daycare because I want to be able to know that Max is getting an education, you know? I don't want to just pay somewhere so they can watch Max because that defeats the purpose like my mom can watch Max um, so I'm trying to just find a school I went to go see a charter school and they also don't take Max's age um, so now I'm trying to figure out if I need to do like I don't know I honestly don't know so that's what we're doing today we're checking out schools um, so yeah, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette. If you guys are not new here, welcome back. I'm super excited um, for us to just find the schools and figure out where we're going to be taking the kids. I'm also going to be updating you guys with everything that's going to be going on these next couple of videos leading up till about August, July. Hi, Adeline. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah? Oh, I wish you guys could see your little Prada bag. Um, so yeah, we're excited. We're going to bring you guys along. Honey. Um, so we'll see you guys um, in a bit. So I'm gonna be the Uber driver today. Um, Karina is going in the back, and I'm going to be the chauffeur. <laughs> We're waiting for our other friend right now to get here. But I'm gonna eat my <sighs> breakfast. I made Karina eat a uh, banana today. Oh, there's a little birdie on my on my car. Look, out of me. Oh, look at the birdie. birdie on the, on the <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Her laugh. <laughs> It was on. It was on the car. Is this one Max's? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna switch you over here. Okay. Cause it's higher. Yeah. And the seatbelt. Mm. I made Karina eat a banana because I look like a monkey. <laughs> I look like the orange monkey. No. Dude, my mom. She's gonna be roasted on herself. I'm dead. Yeah. But. No, I gave her a banana because I told her she needed some <laughs> potassium. <laughs> She's like, okay, mom. I'm like, eat a banana. Hurry up. <laughs> okay. But, <clears throat> yeah. We'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, it is the next day. I didn't even jump on the camera um, last night. I ended up just, what did I end up doing last night? I think I just sat down and like watched a movie. Ulises ended up cleaning the living room by the time I got out. So I was able to enjoy some relaxation time. Lisa's is back after leaving me for a week to go visit his other girlfriend. Hmm. Um, and yeah, we're back together here. So we are actually going to be going to um, a school that I wanted to show Lisa's because he wasn't um, going to all the schools that I was going to like touring them and stuff. So we're going to go to this one together. We have Max as well, which he's probably going to see the school for the first time. So I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna be meeting with some of like the people in the administration like department and stuff just to see like information and all that stuff so i'm excited yeah it's gonna be good um he's already like super excited just to get started so yeah um how do yeah. you feel about maxi poo starting school i i feel like i'm excited to see how fast he learns you know because he's already smart with a lot of stuff so i'm, I'm just kind of curious to see how ahead he is or you know 
this is the only time you know when is there with other people, you know, with other kids, but yeah. in this case. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I he's getting big, you know. Yesterday. Yeah, it was, it's like a little sad because he is getting big. It was bigger. like cute emotions, though. Like, remember how last night we were talking about him and how I told you that it made me sad? Not as sad, but like it was cute that we got to one of the schools and then they by the door they had like pictures of all the kids and they were like on little like four leaf clovers. And then Max opened the door and he's like, Oh my god, mommy is are those my friends? I was like, Oh yeah. Max, you need friends. Mommy friends. <laughs> You're excited for your friends? Yeah. Yeah? My friends are here? They're not yeah, they're gonna be here at the school that we're going to. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you guys it's you want to go to the store? No. Go drop. Go drop. Go drop. You want to go jump? Yeah. You're just trying to do some fun activity, aren't you? Go drop. Okay, we'll Tomorrow. take you, we'll take you and Bebe um jumping the next Friday. Friday, yeah. Friday. When mommy's done. Mommy, I wish you jumping house. I feel so weird. Like, what? you know, so I was in Stockton and then I came back, right? Oh. And typically we come back Sunday, so it's just like, it feels like a Monday, but it's Wednesday. Yeah, all because you did, you were doing so much? I was doing a lot, yeah. So it's like, I'm like burnt out today, no lie, for no reason, but I'm also starting to work out again in the morning, so it's just like, it's always hard those first few days, but I gotta push to like... Are you feeling better though from your stomach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way yeah, better. That's yeah. good. He was dying yesterday. I had stomach problems like the entire week, man. It's just... Literally on the way up, I ate something before I left and it upset my stomach so bad. I had to stop like three, four times. Remember I told you it felt so long? And then um, yesterday, what did I do? I ate something again and it literally was bad. I was like, shoot. Yeah. It was pretty bad. So I, I never really drink medicine for anything like stomach pain, but she gave me the pepto one and mm -hmm. right away it got better. <laughs> I was like, hopefully you don't get clogged up, but yeah. glad you're feeling better. But it's cool, you know, it was good to kind of get away for a little bit and get work done at the same time. What, baby? Cute, cute. I'm so cute. Thank you. And then there's Max, the only man I need. <laughs> We're at school. Are you at school? Yeah, is it here through here? Uh, is it? I don't know, it looks... Maybe not, huh? Maybe that's a big one. At the gate's there, so... Maybe that's the exit, huh? Well, baby, is that this is your school, yeah. Do you like it? School? It looks weird. <laughs> does it look weird? What's that? Is it? Does it look spooky? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't the school. I don't think we got the entrance right. Three. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Do you like your school much? Yes. Are you excited to start? So I'm super excited. Um, what did you think, babe? I liked it. Um, a couple things stood out. I want to say, like, the first thing was the fact that all the kids were just very engaged and, and kind of independent at the same They're time. They're very... Okay, so we walked into them almost leaving, but they have a drama department. They have dance. They have... Um, hitting me weird um they had like just a, like so many different like things to do for them which i loved and basically the curriculum that they have like they go based off the based off of um the child you know so like if the kid is already trying to do math like they're going to push push and continue to teach him how to do math um they're teaching them how to read they're teaching them how to do um uh, they do a lot of science and math and stuff. It's like so different like when she was like going through over like the curriculum that they have for them I was just like what? yeah, it's almost not even a curriculum though because they're, it's they, all like it, has no, it has no limits Like and then they don't realize that they're learning while they're doing it It's just such a different way of the way that they teach like their structure is so different And I feel like this is why I fell in love with it because it's like like I noticed immediately just visually seeing how the children were learning like they were just doing like Things that they enjoy and if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know how like max he's just very good at puzzles and like he he's his memory is just like absolutely amazing so i know he's gonna pick up on things so easy um 
like he's gonna be really challenged to just and, and in reality a lot of the times he's already independent because he yeah. doesn't like you to help him if you notice yeah. he doesn't like you to grab his hand doesn't Nothing. like you to so uh -huh. it, it'll be good for him to kind of like be in a place where he's gonna be able to do that and more yeah. you know what i mean so i i like that they also test them out like okay he likes this let's give him activities with that and then yeah. every time they keep advancing they just keep going and now compared to maybe some schools that they don't really do that they just kind of like hey you got to stay here you know and then it never yeah. really challenges the kid you that's know? what i'm trying to figure out like you know is it too soon for us to try and enroll camila in there or do we wait until she's four and then just bring that curriculum like it's not even a curriculum but bring that method of teaching home so we can do that at home with camila and then prep her for once she's four years old and you know yeah. doing what she's doing because they have kids as little as like infants you know yeah. there and you know they're teaching them since they're and then i'm telling you like i was just so it was so crazy walking in because all the kids are just like they're not screaming and running and nothing they were yeah. so structured like yeah. they were just kind of like just like saw kids randomly <laughs> like i'm like what's this kid doing over here but yeah, they just know and, what and he's they're just doing like filling up his water bottle and this little kid was like filling up his water and like this other kid was like you know tying his shoe and i'm just like dang like it's so crazy because i didn't expect that i mean i expected it from the school because i'm telling you it caught my eye immediately but i am so excited no but even um our friends that that have their kids in this kind of school like the last time the, I saw their kids like before they started that yeah and then I saw them recently after they started and, and the, the their daughter is the same age as Camila and she's like you know grabbing her juice putting the straw in throwing away the garbage giving yeah. her you know and it's like dang like yeah. these are like life quality so they very they focus a lot on just getting them ready for life so when I went to first grade I remember I had a really good um I had a really good teacher I had a really good teacher, I remember, but I also remember that I was finishing a lot of stuff compared to other kids. Yeah. Like, I remember I was just like, okay, I'm done. And I don't know, like, I understand what you mean about that. Like, well, yeah, I, well, he grade, was just telling like, me, just like, on top of it. well, Lisa's mom, she was very, um, she was a complete different than, like, my mom. Not that my mom wasn't involved, it's just that my mom was. She was a single mom, you know, she was just trying to like make it work. Like she like really she didn't have you know? a lot of help like yeah. with like being dedicated to like our education or helping us with homework or like none of that stuff, you know? Like it was just kinda like you're going to school, you're going to school because you have to. It was very different. And Lisa's mom, she was very involved. Like we were changing like zip codes like to go to the right school. And yeah. it was still public, it was just a better school. So and even up to high school you saw like you i didn't go to, to yeah. regular high school you didn't yeah. and uh we had to like you know kind of like write almost like a resume not a resume it's like a letter of like why we want to go there and stuff yeah, so, and elisa's is both brothers know? he they went to college like they're they all they both graduated with their bachelor's degrees you know like your mom did an amazing job yeah with i'm like you think guys. about it i uh, i mean you went to school for i graduated a while from too. the streets no, you went to school for a while. And, I tried, you know, but like, I wasn't really your your adventure was just a little bit different. Like you just decided to be an entrepreneur. And I think it's more the modern too, day, you know? the modern day, like yeah, you know what people are doing, which is dope too. But now, like both of them, even though they have that background, they're still also doing entrepreneur things. Yeah. So like you know, it's just good. I think it matters a lot, and like you're you're gonna hate it growing up a lot of the times, but later on you start picking up on why it was beneficial and stuff. So. Uh, literally what I was in high school for it's everything that I, I'm doing now I just some of it I didn't pay attention but yeah. it's, I mean the, the academics are important for sure that's why it's like I mean to start this early it's like you're excited because we didn't get to do that yeah you know no, what I'm I mean? so excited so for it's them. like I'm just excited to see like, and then I saw the little girls know? so they were just like little girls Camila's age and they were like they're just ah they're just so cute like they were just so independent like they were just like with their little uniforms and she's already and like, independent uh, and then they're like doing the, the they were on stage doing it was a hip-hop class yeah and they were dancing to the encanto song and the little girls are just like dancing yeah like, i can see you're enjoying that like so much i know they're probably gonna come back super tired too i trust me when school starts i think they're gonna be even napping way i mean they're gonna even be going to sleep way earlier than they already were yeah they're gonna be waking up like what seven o'clock to get them ready 6.30 yeah. to get them ready for leave, school. Leave, leave by 8. But, but I told Blanca too, I like that schedule because it allows us to kind of get our day started early and also finish by the time and you still go back and you're just done with your day, you know? I'll clean up for you. It's almost like you're going to be probably getting more work done because you're going to just be like, oh, dang, you know, I got to pick up the kids and right. we got to get this going. What time do you know? we get out? 3? 3.30, oh, which okay. is a good That's time. Good. Yeah. 
Yeah, and eight thirty is not even bad, you know. I thought it was one thirty, but yeah, it's three thirty. Yeah, so it, it's it's exciting. Yeah, so I'm glad we were able to bring you guys along. I know that this vlog was very just like it was just very about school. No, but we were. I just kind of like threw a lot of information but um this is just a little journey obviously you guys have been a part of my life for so long and this is another part another step of just being a mom and i feel like a lot of people don't really talk about like their kids schools or anything like that which i completely understand um but i wanted to be able to share that with you guys to just know it's just another life thing that we're going through as parents and those big decisions that may affect you know our children's futures at the end and I'm just so happy that everything we've been working hard for babe is for these moments you know to be able to provide our kids with those educations that they really 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 need you know yeah I mean it's not even so, more so than they need I think they're gonna have to get it regardless it's just more like working with him at a young age already where we're already seeing instances where he's like showing signs of wanting to learn more and yeah. You, you were already obsessed and doing puzzles. Imagine what he's gonna be doing now when he gets home. And then yeah. Oh my God. They were teaching them. The, they were teaching them like all the flags. <laughs> like there was. I'm telling you guys. I was just kind of like, <laughs> like oh. she was just showing me everything. I, I, I'm laughing because the other time uh, he was doing the the whole United States puzzle and Blanca was oh, like, oh yeah. I was like, wait. I was like, where does? Um, she was like, we're Louisiana. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. So. I was like, where's that in North Carolina? Like, I'm telling you guys, like, I like that's, those the, kind of that's the thing, too. Like, and you have to keep in mind, like, I haven't been in school 10 years. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, it's been a long time that I've been in school. Even but writing stuff, it's like, we're rusty, you know? The lady, she was even telling us, she's like, you don't even realize it, but he's going to be coming home and he's going to be teaching you guys things. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be like, mom, that's not how you say it. I'm like, oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. It'll be, it'll be good. Um, and like you said, you know, yeah. if we have the opportunity to, this is why you work hard, you know, to get something you couldn't do. So it's dope. Yeah. I'm excited to see. How I'm excited. Works. But yeah, guys, sorry if I bored you guys with all this information, but I am so excited to share with you guys this vlog. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so today's vlog was literally a whole lot of talking, and I wanted to just share with this vlog with you guys because. I was on Instagram and a lot of you guys were asking um, just like information on the school and like just, you know, I guess the journey of me trying to find a good school for Max and all that good stuff. So sorry if it was just a lot of talking and a lot of like information being thrown at you guys, but it's a big step in, you know, mommy life. I feel like I was telling Elisa, so I'm like, dude, it's so crazy because um, now we're taking those steps of like, you know, making sure that Max is getting a good education, making sure that Camila's getting a good education, making sure that they're in sports, extracurricular activities, just making sure that we're involved. And it's like just such a different, different life, you know? Um, but I'm super excited. So we ended up finding the school for Max. Like you guys saw, we loved it. Um, he's going to start school in July. So um, these next couple of months are just kind of prepping him to start school. He starts school in July and um, yeah, I'm super excited. So for those of you guys who were asking on my Instagram, I ended up doing a Montessori school. A lot of you guys were recommending it. If you guys are not familiar with it, just um, search it up. You guys can get information. It's very different from like traditional school teaching. Um, but a lot of you guys were actually t recommending um, Montessori schools. You guys were like, oh my God, like you need to put him um, in a Montessori school it's gonna be really good so thank you to all of you guys who recommended them um but yeah for those of you guys who are probably wondering what type of school I ended up we didn't do the private route um we didn't do charter school or head start we ended up just doing Montessori and you guys can find a Montessori school in your area they have them everywhere um and like I said it's just a different way of teaching and I'm really excited I'll keep you guys updated for sure if I see a difference in just how Max is um, just adapting to certain things if he's picking up on certain things differently um, Social skills all that good stuff like I'll keep you guys updated if you guys really want to know um, But yeah another update that I will be updating on my next vlog We have our winner for our Jeep 
Yay! Which a lot of you guys were really excited about to find out. A lot of you guys were wondering what happened and why I haven't um, said anything. We were just trying to make sure that everything was scheduled and figured out. So the next vlog is going to be all about the Jeep and it is on its way to the winter and we are going to be flying to deliver, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was so much information. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please let me know down below and I will see you guys on my next vlog. Love you guys. Felt like this before You make me feel the way I ain't feel in a minute I feel like I'm living when I'm looking at you, baby Never felt like